Hi, yeah, I'm Tash and I am the face behind LML Textiles. Um, alongside working for John Arvin Textiles, I own my own little screen printing business, which I run alongside work and I create hand screen printed art and textiles, um, all done from my own hand drawn illustrations. Uh, yeah, so I've been with John Arvin Textiles for, I want to say about three or four years um, now and I have been sort of doing this for about three and it is slowly growing and growing. Um, I've recently started doing commissions um, and it doesn't have to be just animal commissions so I'm taking on all sorts of different work now. So it's keeping me super busy when I'm not at work, I'm in my cabin pretty much printing all the time. And when I'm not printing all the time, I like to go for a dip in the sea or on a nice little dog walk. I've got a lovely little um, border terrier called Buddy who tends to hang out with me either in my cabin or as soon as it warms up a bit, he tends to sit outside the front door on guard um, just to check that no one's coming, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, he likes it when the sun shines and he loves to sunbathe on the gravel out there. So... Um, I tend to get very distracted when he's around. <laughs> so I first learnt to screen print when I was back at uni and I was doing my fashion and textiles degree and I completely fell in love with the process. So um, yeah, I've carried it on into my work after uni. Screen printing is and can be quite a lengthy process and I love to do it all myself from start to finish. Um, so I start off with my hand-drawn illustrations um, that's my starting point. I do a pencil drawing and then I um, go over it and choose all my final lines um, for the black line work of my print and then if it's going to be a coloured print I tend to add the colour after. Um, I tend to use sort of simple placements of colours um, and I tend to use the actual colours so um, as I tend to do animals quite a lot of the colours are natural browns and tonals um, I am wanting to expand, expand my collections more um, with more animals and more different prints. So the, the more the years go on, the more I'm creating more and more prints. So to get my print, my images onto screens, you have to expose the screen using photo emulsion. So I hand draw my positives myself. I used a Zig Posterman ink pen, which is completely opaque and it's waterproof. You have to do two coats so that no light can get through it. But I basically just lay my acetate over the image that I've drawn and trace around it. And then that it that then is my positive um, for exposing my screen. And then I have to coat my screen with the photo emulsion. And once that's dry, um, I then lay the acetate on it and I use my halogen light above it and expose my screen, it then burns the image into my screen basically. So where the black lines are, the light can't get to. So the light sets all the emulsion and then when I wash out, the part where the black lines were covering washes out and that then gives me my screen. I hope that makes sense, it's really hard to explain. So once I've exposed my screens, I let them dry, they have to dry flat and then check them the next day or whenever they're dry, however long it takes. In the winter, it takes a little longer because it's colder. And then once that's done, I tape it up and if there's any pinholes, I fill them in with old emulsion just to make sure that no ink is gonna get through where it's not supposed to get through. Then it's time to print. I always do a test print. So I've got so many scraps of fabric, which either prints have gone wrong or previous test prints so I always reuse them to do my other test prints on basically just checking that your ink is coming through the screen properly and that you get a nice clear image at the end of it depending on the fabric that you're using is depending on how many pools you have to come through with the ink so it's always good to test print your print on a similar fabric to the final print that you're doing so you can get a good gauge of how many pools of ink you need to do through the screen Okay, so I just want to show you the finished bag and what it looks like after you've seen all of the process. Um, so I'll try and zoom in a little bit on it for you. As you can see, the two layers there. Um, and the apples at the bottom. Um, so I really hope you like it, the finished piece. Um, and on the inside, there is also, it says, LML Textiles for John Arbin Textiles. 
just to finish the bag off as well and i will be numbering them because they're super limited edition so there will be little numbers on the little tag in the corner here as well but they're not they're not there yet 